And then I chase my cat back inside the house. Inside the house, Oscar. So I got some portobello mushrooms, some spring mix, baby spinach, blueberries, asparagus, Brussels sprouts that are already trimmed and peeled, and some romaine lettuce. And then I also grabbed these pans because ours suck until we get new ones, but they're 25 bucks for three of them. I'm throwing away the other ones. And that's about all I'm getting. Well, there's still and some of these. Some more organic bananas. I got, got the hubby some more of these eggs. They're hard boiled, already ready to go. And I got some chicken, egg whites, and then just some regular eggs. And of course, I have to get the puppies, these flamingos, because, well, obviously. So we're in the coffee aisle. I obviously need some Starbucks videos. Or not Starbucks because um, Keurig cups. I've been going through them like out of control. Anyways, I'm walking like I think I'm just gonna go with the Starbucks. That's why I got the first form protein because it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. I am craving cereal. I'm not gonna lie. They have lots of natural peanut butter too. They have the almond butter and then they have the regular. I like to get unsalted just because it's not really necessary to get salted. Anyways, I'm going to look for my coach's oats. Thirteen dollars for like a thousand of these. Okay. These are my favorite. Well, that was a workout. Limping through Costco, not ideal. Time to go. Hey guys, so it's actually lunchtime, but I'm opting for some protein pancakes with a little bit of peanut butter on them. Um, I just used some of my Formula One CTC uh, whey isolate protein. I just put a little bit of that, egg whites, oats, cinnamon, um, pumpkin spice, and then a teaspoon of peanut butter. Got my coffee, lots of cinnamon, and then um, all of that was able. To, I was able to make two of them. So, yummy, yum, so good. Hey guys, so I've been relaxing since I got home. I've been watching ballet documentaries for the past like two hours. It's really inspirational. Um, some of you guys may know, but I danced classical ballet for like 14, 15 years, and it was really good. I. Um, I loved it. It was something that um, was hard for my family. We couldn't afford, you know, a lot. And so my parents dedicated a lot of time and money to our training. And um, yeah, that's where I just kind of fell in love with dance and then and fitness and all of that. So it was really fun to watch. These kids are freaking amazing, especially they're so young. Anyways, I am going to start meal prepping. It's about 4.50. Um, I'm gonna eat my second or my fifth snack for the day, and then um, or fourth snack for the day. I can't even talk. But I figured I would film um, some of the food prep, so I will do that, and that will probably be like a separate video, so you guys can see everything I do. All right, I'm back. All right, so one of the first things I do when I start getting my food ready um, is I take a big pot and I fill it with water. This is gonna be for all my veggies. Um, I turn the heat on extra high, and then I let that get ready to boil. While I'm doing that, I will go and I will grab all the veggies. Um, I've got asparagus, Brussels sprouts, and green beans. Um, I usually do three veggies. I cook for my hubby as well. So um, that's why I do all these veggies. 
it were just me, I'd probably cut it in half because I do eat all. All right, just chop the ends off and this looks like that. I cut off a pretty good amount because I don't. All right, so while the water is going to boil, I'm getting my oven ready to bake and I'm going to, hi Sophie, take out, I'm gonna do some cod. So water is getting boiled. Cut the asparagus, the um, Brussels sprouts are already ready to go and so are the green beans. So I'm going to thaw the cod. Just grab a bowl. Fill this up with cold water. I'm going to go ahead and throw the fish in there. It takes about 15-20 minutes to thaw. And just let it in there. All right, so then I'm gonna do some brown rice. Um, I usually buy the, the short grain brown rice. Um, this is actually mixed with whatever else was in here. But rule of thumb, I just take the rice and then I double the water. So I'm gonna have four cups of rice. That means I'm gonna have eight cups of water. That does it perfectly. You can't really go wrong with it. Throw it in my rice cooker, eight cups of water, and this will be cooking while everything else is getting ready. All right, so I usually use this Pam High temperature spray for the grill. I'm gonna go outside and get that on. All right, so I like to have the grill on like super high. And I usually let it get to like 450 and above. All right, so the water is boiling. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. And I'm going to put the asparagus in. Set the timer for four minutes. And you will have perfect asparagus. All right, so four minutes are up. I'm just going to take the asparagus out of the pot. And I'm going to quickly take it to the sink to um, blanch with cold running water. So I basically let the asparagus sit out um, throughout my whole meal prep and they get um, basically cold. Some people ask me how long do you keep the food out and I definitely um, I don't put it in the fridge right away. You don't want to leave everything out longer than like an hour and a half. Um, I try to keep it to 30 to 45 minutes. Oh my god my animals. Um, but uh, that's about how long. So um, I took the asparagus out and now I'm going to go ahead and put the um, Brussels sprouts in. Timer's four minutes again, and that's what it looks like. I did some videos on how I make my asparagus, if you guys wanna check those out, and how I cook all my veggies. So um, you can check that out on this channel. I also um, created a playlist, and it's on the Eat Clean um, Recipes playlist. So I'm going to now get my fish ready on the pan to put in the oven, because the oven has preheated to 415. So I'm gonna do that. All right, so I got my fish ready. Um, I like to use garlic, a um, little organic no salt seasoning from Costco, and some smoked paprika. Alright, Brussels sprouts are ready to go. Go ahead and get these out. Oh, actually, I might let these cook a little bit longer. Although every time I do that, the overcook so I might just um, take them out now as you can see I just keep multitasking so um, I'm actually using some lemon pepper on this cod as well love this um, Mrs. Dash no salt lemon pepper all right so that's ready to go usually 25 minutes is good for this fish and now I'm gonna start the chicken just kidding I guess I gotta now put the green beans in because I just took out the Brussels sprouts. I do about half the bag and then set or look at the timer and do again four minutes. All right so this is what the chicken looks like. I do about 18 chicken breasts because I eat a lot of protein and so does my hubby. Um, I use some smoked paprika from Costco. These are all from Costco I think yeah. Chopped onion, organic no salt seasoning, garlic, and that's all I use today. So I'm gonna go take these out to the grill. 
All right, green beans are done. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is some ground turkey. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. If you wanna see some of my more fancier ground turkey recipes, you can find those um, and make a lettuce wrap, which is really good with spices and stuff like that. But I just bought one little thing of ground turkey this time. I always get the extra lean, Ginny O. And I'm um, just gonna saute it up. All right, just put the turkey in. I'm gonna let it um, saute. And the chicken has been in the grill for uh, six minutes. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm going to turn it. All right, so I came back in, turned my turkey around, and it's now saying that my fish is done. And it looks like it's perfect. All right, so the cod was 25 minutes. I like it like perfectly cooked, but slightly overcooked rather than undercooked, um, just because a lot of times I eat my food cold. And I notice that when it's a little overcooked, it tastes better, so. Rice is still cooking, or yeah. I need some water, and then it's almost time for me to eat a little something. I might make some tuna. And yeah, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, so far this has taken me, I started at, what time did I say, 4.59? It's 5.50, so it's been an hour. I'm almost done, and I've already laid out my Tupperware, as you guys can see. Um, and I just kind of let the veggies, I've been letting them sit out for a little bit. So, yeah. So I took the chicken off. Um, like I said, I did one side six minutes, and then the next side I did about five to six minutes. And it always comes out perfectly for me. I like it charred like that. Um, again, I eat it cold sometimes and it just tastes better that way. My turkey is done also. My fish is done. So all my proteins are done and that took me exactly one hour. And I'm, I'm basically done. So I'm going to spend the next 30 minutes weighing and cutting all the food and putting it inside of the um, Tupperwares. So again, I let it sit out. I've been letting it sit out for some time now. Um, I'm going to do that right now cutting up um, I do three Brussels sprouts and I just cut them up for one serving all right so I just decided to start with the turkey I just take um, this measuring cup it's about a half cup um, and then I just fill it with turkey I have measured my um, little trays at it's 1.8 so if I add four ounces it's gonna be 5.8 so I just do it like that it's kind of the easiest way for me to do it and measure And if it's a little bit over, that's fine. I just take a little bit out. And that is one of my servings.